And this episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint. I guess I'm going to talk more about uh, about Joy uh, Joy Behart show because it was it was an amazing experience for me. I know I've been on I've been on heavy stuff. <laughs> I've been you know I've been part of stuff that I'm really honored to be part of, and the Joy Behart show is just a show that I do. You know I just do it. Um, I don't even think about it really. But uh, she's she was taping here in um, Vegas. And I was invited on the show and I was on the show with Holly Madison and David Copperfield, uh, and of course, Joy Behar. And uh, David Copperfield is, you know, he's the most famous magician uh, of our lifetime. He probably is not more famous than Houdini, but he's more famous than anybody uh, anybody else in magic, you know. It, it's either Houdini, Copperfield, or it's Copperfield, Houdini. I mean, there's no, we're, we're, not, we're not in the running. And even Siegfried and Roy aren't really in the running. Um, Big popular magician, and he's richer, richer than God, you know, owns an island, stuff like that. And I've known David oh, 40 years or something, right? 35 years or something. I've known him as long as, pretty much longer than known Teller, uh, maybe a couple years less. And uh, we've always, you know, talked to each other and stuff, and I'm always on, um, I'm always nervous that I'm gonna say something to piss him off because. When I'm talking, I'm pissing somebody off. It seems as easy as that. And so, um, but this this time on Joy Behar, I don't know what it was about me, but all of a sudden I wasn't on pins and needles around David Copperfield, and I wasn't pushing and trying to get little half-assed digs in and making some sort of, trying to set him off or something. I wasn't doing any of that shit. I was just hanging out with him, and it was fabulous. We were just talking, and I liked him. And then Holly Madison, and Holly Madison, you know, when I'm around Holly Madison, I always want to make jokes, because Holly Madison, you know, uh, I was the really uh, geeky uh, kid in high school that got beat up and stuff, and she looked so popular that I always want to like prove to myself that I can be mean to her that I'm not sucking up to anymore. I don't think she's ever known this because it's all, always going on inside my head that I should be mean to her. So I never really connect with her. And for some reason, some thing happened and somehow, you know, uh, some part of me realized that whatever I felt in high school is no longer valid because I'm a 55 year old man. So I talked to Holly. I mean, I just talked to her. I talked to her like I'd talked to a buddy. You know, talked about who she's fucking and what she's doing and hang on. And I wasn't trying to get information out of her to spill here. She told me stuff that I could say here that would really make her uncomfortable and get her in trouble and also hit news. And you know what? I'm not going to do any of it. I'm not going to be a scumbag. That's not the scum kind of scumbag I usually am anyway. But um, she was just sweet and nice and smart and a pleasure to be around. Now here's my thinking. Here's my thinking. Copperfield, Holly Madison, and Joy Behar did not all change at the same time. It must be me. So I think that for one afternoon in Las Vegas, I was a little less of an asshole than I usually am. How cool is that? I'm making progress. Now you're gonna get a lot of letters down at the bottom of the thing that say, no, don't worry, Penn, you're still a fucking asshole. And then I'll feel bad about it. So what? It's easier than having a job. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint for your free audiobook. <laughs> 